flip or flop. I can't wait to see what it is tonight. <laughs> Baptiste gets blocked by Jones. Three to shoot. Thomas can't hit. And a foul here against Sam Thomas. And Ari McDonald's teammate said we feed off of Ari. If she misses early shots, it can affect us. Let's see if they can quickly turn it around. Arizona one of eight. Jones the layup to Arizona. Taylor Jones has a great matchup in this game, and here she gets by Kate Reese and able to finish inside. For Stanford, but have not been able to hit them here in this first quarter. Jones pops it in to keep the beat, to let the music play, and each player has different moments to solo. We are seeing that from Stanford tonight. Down the floor, Ho lays it in. One of the best facilitating forwards in women's college basketball on the money to home. By the way, that last foul called against Brink, her third. So three on Wilson, three on Brink now. They are both on the bench for Stanford as Jones goes back door. Ashton Prechtel up, get the ball into her. Look at all that room for the cut for Haley Jones. As Arizona's gotten better offensively, they've made better decisions. Jones lays it in on a nice delivery from Hull. Said we're going to speed the game up. We're quicker. We're going to use that. Well, Tara Vanderveer had to make a change and went back from her big to her smaller lineup. And Jones takes advantage there. And Williams come alive here in the fourth quarter. Jones putting it on the deck, leaning and hitting the steadying presence of Haley Jones. Brink dumps it down. Jones able to finish. Arizona just does not have a player that has the size and strength to be able to limit. Shot is down to seven. Jones spinning. Jones got the whistle and finished. I and mean, you know she wants to go right. You force her left. Well, she's just as good that direction. The strength she uses. Kent. Here to uh, do our interview with this is our most outstanding player, Haley Jones. Oh, wow. Haley, you seem so comfortable out here. People forget this is your first NCAA tournament. Why are you so big in these moments when, when they need you the most? Um, I just owe it all to my teammates. They have confidence in me, um, even when I don't have confidence in myself. So. Coming down the stretch, I saw in their eyes um, they needed me to come out big, and I did, thankfully. Um, but I just owe it all to them. This team is so close, and I'm just so happy to be there with this type of squad. Take us inside those timeouts. You guys have a timeout. There's just a few seconds left. How were you guys able to really come together in those moments and communicate what was necessary? Um, yeah, we just knew, I mean, we had like 15 seconds left in the entire season, so we couldn't leave anything that we would have regrets with at the end of the day. So we left it all on the floor. Um, we gave what we had, we talked, we communicated, and it was just a team effort, just communication, and we just showed how, heart, how much heart we have, how much passion we have, and how much grit we have as a team. You guys had to have grit to get through this season. How do you describe the most difficult times you went through and how you fought through them? Yeah, we just had strength in each other. Um, we spent a lot of time together. Sometimes you don't want to be around each other, so we really got to know each other probably more than we ever would. Um, so, I mean, we just learned what people like to do, and you, we just grew so much in each other because during the hard times, there's nowhere else to turn except each other. So we just found strength in one another, and, I mean, this was the goal all along, so it's surreal to be here right now. All right, an 87-day road trip ends in a national championship. Was it worth it? Oh, it was 100% worth it. Yes, 100%. Thank <laughs> you.